So we're on our final stage of our butterfly and all we need to do now is we need to go in and apply some of these mark making techniques to the little pattern sections on our butterfly. Um, we've got two different sizes of circles. We've got smaller ones towards the edge of the wings and then we have these larger ones in the center. So we're only going to use two different techniques. So I'm going to use, you could choose whichever one you want, but I'm going to use the end of my pen in the larger sections towards the body of the butterfly. And then I'm going to use some of these dots in the smaller sections just with the end of my pencil because again that's appropriate it's appropriate to use the bigger mark in the bigger sections and the smaller mark in the smaller sections so again working quite gently just so we don't change the shape of our wing and just so we're not pushing it so it's going to fall off or anything like that i'm just gently pushing in with the tip of my pen and trying to stay in the shape that is drawn out for that section on the butterfly wing. I'm going to go along and do each of those sections. Okay, and then once I've done those sections, I'm switching over to my pencil and in the smaller circles around the outside. applying some of the pointillism in those smaller circles. Again, not pushing too hard because I don't want to break my wings. I don't want to go outside the shape. I just want to get a little hint of those marks in. And you can see me supporting the wing as well with my finger in some of the areas where I think it might bend. Okay, and you do the same, you're going to apply the same to the other side of your wing, so it has to be symmetrical. So again, just going to support my wing, and I'm going to push those in, trying to match it exactly on each side, because butterfly wings, as I've said, are symmetrical. So using the same technique in the larger areas, and then the same technique in the smaller areas as well. Okay, now the final thing that we're going to do just before we say we're completely finished we're just going to go around the edge of our wings and make sure that everything is completely smooth as it can be. Now, at this stage, you may need a tiny bit, and I do mean a tiny bit of water. So I'm just going to bring my water cup in and I'm just going to dip my finger in, but then I'm going to wipe it off on the edge of the cup. So I have only got a tiny bit of water on my finger because if you put too much on, like I said, it weakens the structure of the clay and we don't want our clay falling apart or breaking in the clay. So I'm just going around rubbing my finger around the edge of my clay, making sure all the shape that I want is still exactly the same, but I'm just making sure I've got no rough edges, nothing's gonna fall off, and it's all gonna be nicely formed when it goes in the kiln. So just like that, 